A few days ago, something interesting happened on Seekle's stream. Wait, here it comes. He's doing it again! Oh, God! Ah! Ah! <laughs> if you don't know what's going on, Bastion's new ultimate, Artillery, allows him to summon up to three airstrikes on the map. But evidently, this limit of three airstrikes can be bypassed, allowing Bastion to commit unspeakable war crimes. So how is this possible? Let's look at how Artillery functions normally. Bastion's ultimate grants him a total of three usable airstrikes. Each time an airstrike is used, this value is decremented by one. Once this value is equal to zero, his ammunition is considered depleted and the ultimate ends. On the surface, this makes perfect sense, but there is a critical flaw in the logic. The ultimate will only end if the remaining ammunition is equal to zero. If we could somehow skip over zero, airstrikes could continue to be called without ever satisfying this condition. Surely that can't happen, right? Conveniently, Bastion's ultimate accepts two methods of input when selecting an airstrike location. The primary fire button and the ultimate button. This isn't unprecedented, as Junkrat's Rip Tire also accepts both inputs when detonating the tire. For Bastion's alt, however, this trait is exploitable. When both input keys are pressed on the same tick, the ammo counter is decremented by two, skipping a value. When performing this glitch with one remaining airstrike, the counter skips over zero. Since the value is never equal to zero, the exit condition is never met, and Bastion can carpet bomb to his heart's content. At least until the ultimate timer runs out. An important thing to note is that although the internal counter decrements by two, the actual number of airstrikes used does not double. Only one airstrike spawns in the map. Because of this, this exploit can also end your ultimate early. With two remaining airstrikes, performing this glitch will skip directly to zero, ending the ultimate with only two airstrikes used. Unfortunately, I'm not able to get footage of this, since during the creation of this video, Bastion has been completely deleted from the game. He's missing from the hero gallery, the practice range, custom lobbies... Even attempting to forcibly spawn Bastion via the workshop doesn't do anything. It seems like an excessive punishment to me, but hey... War crimes are war crimes. By the time this video is uploaded, this bug may or may not be fixed. But don't worry, there's plenty more to cover.